welcome back everyone. In today's lesson we're going to be working with a fresh chicken. A whole chicken. You, get, I, I, you see I have set up on the chopping board and what we're going to do is show you how to process this chicken and uh, take out the bones and you and actually what, we're, what I'm going to do is use the uh, make two dishes with this chicken. One is um, going to be steamed chicken with uh, black mushrooms and, and uh, Chinese sausage and I'm going to use the leg portions and the wings for that and then the breast portion I'm going to show you how to slice up uh, we're going to slice that thinly for a, a stir fry so let's get started I'm going to do this slowly so you can kind of get the hang of this you take your knife you grab the chicken with the wing and the leg make two slices, one on either side of the back bone. And there's a joint up here. You, that, when you cut through that joint, that separates the, the, uh, the wing. And then you take your knife, hold the point of your knife here, and you pull. And as you see, that removes all the skin and the breast, and also uh, leaves the wing attached. The only thing that uh, is left is the, what they call the uh, tenderloin, the breast tenderloin. And I'll show you how to remove that later, but you do the same thing on the other side. You flip the chicken over, you hold it here, release that joint, hold your knife, and pull. And your skin comes off like that, so you have the... And now you, you've actually skinned the, uh, the, leg, the leg portion, the leg and the thigh. And then you flip it. You push it out and that pops the bone on, on the uh, thigh and you remove that from the carcass. What we're going to do, we don't waste, the Chinese people do not waste anything. The only thing that we're actually going to dispose of is the chicken skin, but a lot of times we'll use that in, uh, uh, in other dishes too. Sometimes that's fried and, and uh, ground up as a seasoning. You see I'm taking my knife and I'm cutting on either side of the tenderloin. Then I reach in there with my fingers and I remove the tenderloin. The other side, take my knife, being careful with it, slice on either side, remove the tenderloin. Okay, now this carcass gets placed in, you can put it in a quart size uh, freezer bag and use it for uh, stock later. Now to, to remove now to finish this process you take the the leg and thigh which is together there's a tendon that runs down here you take your knife and you follow the, the bone and you slice it like that along the side of the bone and scrape it with your knife disjoint it like that then you then you turn it over you score the around the bottom of the, the drumstick you have to be careful with the knife and watch your other hand, right? Flip it out. Follow that line here with your fingers. And you pull the meat away from the... And you, all you have the bone exposed here. Then all you have to do is run your knife around the edge. Like that. And that takes practically all your, your meat off. And you're left with this bone here. Now I'm going to show you how, to, how when you have experience, how, how you can do it quickly. Actually, if in a restaurant you can do one of these, uh, one whole chicken in less than a minute. Because if you have a whole case of chickens, you have to have, of course, you have a lot of chickens to do. That's the other bone. Now you can trim this up and take and take off the fat and discard the fat. Less fat to clog up your arteries. Okay, so you've got the two. Now the the breast is very simple because you're just taking this this that you pulled off the chicken initially. You're taking it and you're cutting through, but you don't cut through the skin and you just push it off. Then the skin here, you separate it and you have a wing, chicken wing. Same thing on the other side. Pull it off. There's a skin we're going to discard this time, just for this time. 
and then you have uh, the chicken. I'm going to cut this up in portion in bite-sized portions, which we're going to steam with the uh, Is about this size. And then you remember when I told you about the, uh, the different types of knife? This knife has been used a lot for a while in the restaurant that I had before. So this, the, a lot, about a half an inch of the steel is gone. So this knife is, uh, has more like an axe edge which I can use for chopping. So my ingredients for this steamed chicken dish in this bowl and the wing I'm going to cut up. So I'm going to cut the wing in three portions and when you chop something, when you're chopping a chicken, uh, you have to be decisive when you chop it. You have to just go, go once completely through it. I'm going to remove it from the tip, cut it one more time. So I have three pieces. I save the tip for broth. One, two, so you have three sections for the wing. The wing tip is also used for uh, broth. Now we'll go back to the to the breast, slicing that. You can hold your, you can trim the the fat off of the breast, so you have no fat at all on the on the chicken breast. And then you hold your knife diagonally, and you can cut off nice sections to use for a stir fry. And sometimes you can even Hold your hand here, go through the, the breast like that to thin it out, and then, and then make, it'll make thinner slices for you. As one of my uh, viewers on the channels, Matt, he was talking about velvetizing the the, uh, the the raw meats that you cut up for stir fry, and this is a perfect example of where you would use it. You could use like a half an egg white, and then dry cornstarch, and a little bit of sesame oil, and mix up with this chicken before you stir fry it, and then you use the techniques that I showed in the uh, beef and broccoli video. So there you there you have it. We have now we have uh, this pile of chicken, which is white meat for stir fry, the dark meat and the wings for the uh, steamed chicken. I'm going to push this off to the side, and then I'm going to show you. This is the other ingredients for the uh, steamed chicken: steamed chicken with Chinese mushrooms, Chinese black mushrooms, which I rehydrated, and the Chinese sausage. These sausage were from Canada gift from my stepsister and uh, the Canadian lap chung, as, as the Chinese people call that, has a little less fat than the American version. So I'm going to take the tips off of these uh, mushrooms, discard them, and then I'm going to slice them up. After this, we'll take a short break, and uh, when we come back, I'll show you how to uh, the rest of the ingredients that we're going to season this uh, mixture. We're going to that we're going to steam steam up. Okay, so there's your ingredients for the uh, chicken, mushroom, and sausage. And up here, you'll see I have minced a little bit of uh, garlic and uh, minced ginger, which also goes in, in the dish. We'll take a short break and I'll show you how to finish off this dish.